hey welcome back dear knowledge seekers in previous video we have discussed about voltage ratio test of transformer and in this video we are going to discuss about ref protection of transformer so let's start first of all what is ref protection so ref protection is one type of electrical protection that is provided to power transformers against earth faults that occurs between a limited zone the zone of protection is limited and full form of ref protection is restricted earth fault protection so here the scheme of ref protection is shown and the earth fold that it senses is shown by the red arrow between the points of neutral and secondary side of transformer up to the panel of secondary side so if any earth fold occurs between the cities of neutral side and secondary side of transformer then rf protection senses the earth fold and trips the circuit breaker and isolates the transformer this protection works for a limited zone between the installation of the cities that are installed on secondary side and neutral of transformer as we we have seen in previous slide so that's why it is called restricted earth fold protection it will only sense the earth fold in this zone and earth folds out of this zone will not be sensed by ref protection so if any earth fold occurs out of the zone of these two installations of cities as shown in this drawing so that earth faults will not be sensed by ref protection so that's why we can came to know about that the earth fold is only in between this zone and we can determine the location of earth fold now coming to the normal condition of transformer in normal condition without any earth fold in this zone vector sum of currents that is being induced in three cities of secondary side and one city of neutral side is zero so the vector sum i capital i will be equal to i a plus i b plus i c so all the three phase vector sum currents will be zero in the normal condition of transformer and discussing about the incident of earth fold on incident of earth fold in this zone the vector sum of currents flowing in relay from cities of secondary side of transformer and neutral connection will not be now zero so vector sum capital i will be equal to i a plus i b plus i c would be some value so upon this value the relay of ref protection will sense that there is earth fold between the zone so ref protection measures this vector sum of currents and if it goes above the setting value ref will operate and will trip the breaker of transformer cities on the secondary side of transformer are generally being installed in the electrical panel so this protection covers power cable up to incomer of this panel in addition to secondary side winding of transformer so you can see in this drawing that from secondary side up to panel there is between power cable is connected and the secondary side of transformer three cities are 
installed at the panel side so you can say that this protection additionally protects the power cable up to the secondary side installation of cts up to the electrical panel now one question arise from this topic that we are using differential protection and definite time earth fault protection in one transformer then why we are using rdf protection as additional protection so the neutral connection of transformer is a point which is a common point without any potential or very low potential as you can see that the secondary side of the transformer is star connected to whom we are applying the rf protection so it is having a neutral connection and at the neutral connection point the voltage or potential is zero or very low amount of quantity so due to the very low potential the faults nearer to the neutral connection of transformer will have small quantities of currents so as you can uh, see that if voltage will be zero then the current will also be very low quantity or zero so this type of low currents cannot be sensed by protection like differential and simple earth fault protection and that's why we are using the rf protection it is the main purpose of using the rf protection